Okay, drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go! And once again, we've seen this matchup before, starting in match four, where Alliance number six, that's the Red Alliance, took the upset victory. However, Blue Alliance is ready to fight back and see a different result this time. Blue has started with three game pieces scored in the upper row, one in the middle, and Deus Ex Machina docked and engaged with the charging station. Red, meanwhile, earned four game pieces scored in the upper row and had an engaged robot of their own. And currently, it is Blue Alliance who has a lead, but it is a narrow one. 604 looking to change that, make it more comfortable. Adding a cube to a node in the upper row while their alliance partners, Deus Ex Machina, bring a cone to the middle. Red Alliance, however, we see them already racing back and forth from the loading zone to their grids. M said Fish adding a cube to the upper row and Space will be sliding in to where they were and dropping off a cone. Red already has their upper row almost entirely filled and it is enough for them to take a temporary lead. In fact, we have just one point separating our alliances now. Iron Claw clawing that back for the cone, falling short of the middle row, but landing in the bottom. Deus Ex Machina hoping to follow that up with a cone in the middle row for the Blue Alliance, but just as quickly, Space Cookies are doing the same exact thing for Red. And once again, just a one point difference, as we see Hephaestus and Space Cookies racing back from the Red Alliance loading zone, each of them with a cube. Amset Fish have a cone on board, looks like they might be trying to get rid of that even, so they can get a better grip and come back to score again. Blue Alliance is starting to pull ahead with a minute left in the match. Blue Alliance has their upper row entirely filled now, and 604 dropping off a cone in the middle, working on that as Iron Claw rolls in and drops off a cube. 50 seconds left. It is still a 20 point match, well within the margin of endgame scoring. See robots, not much defense in this match, just racing back and forth past each other, trying to get between the loading zone and their grids as quickly as possible. See Deus Ex Machina dropping off a cube as 604 rolls in with a cone in the bottom row for the Blue Alliance. Space Cookies, they have a cone for red, trying to get it into place in the middle row. As we now have 25 seconds left, we are into the end game period. However, all of our teams still have their eyes set on game piece scoring, which could make the difference in this match. 15 seconds left, 5171 and Quicksilver on the charging station for the Blue Alliance, making room for Iron Claw. 10 seconds left, Iron Claw trying to make their way up there. Red, meanwhile, gets all three of their robots fitting neatly side by side. That is three robots engaged for the Red Alliance and three robots engaged for Blue. Coming back, and this time it is the Blue Alliance who takes that match by a score of 164 to 162. And that means that it is the Blue Alliance who stays alive and will.